Hello everybody. Welcome back to another Unique Mechanics video. Today we're doing the Audi A4 Prestige Quattro 2.0T. I want to first give you guys an exterior view. So the A4 Prestige model that we're looking at today is 252 horsepower. In the exterior with the 17 inch rims and the interior that you're going to see, this is fully equipped at about $52,000. This is the S-Line. Comes with beautiful, beautiful five spoke rims. I think it works really well for this car. Sometimes Audi um, uses bigger rims. But this color combination on this specific vehicle, I think is stunning. Let's take a quick look in the front. As you can see here, currently the hazards are on. We have illuminated uh, LED daytime running lights. You'll also find right down below are the fog lamps. This is the newly done, the Quattro uh, grill. I like how they did the front bumper here, it looks really sporty. It almost shows like, it's like a fin. Basically cut for additional aerodynamics. Dual exhaust in the back. All right, let's take a look in the engine. go ahead and look in the interior guys the interior is stunning first I want to show you guys what the Audi 4 key looks like you have beautiful Audi emblems right here done in a nice stainless uh, also you have the open button the close button and the trunk as well as the panic just a nice slick look in the back let's go ahead and open it up So my first impression when I first got into the car, honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect. But as soon as I sat down in the seats, as soon as I started feeling out the car and the different specs of the interior, 
I immediately knew this was this was something special. You know, being in the $54,000 range the way that you see it here, it comes fully equipped with navigation, gorgeous trim, incredibly looking and comfortable leather. This is the brand new layout and we're going to go through it all. It even has the navigation right in the dash and I'll show you everything how it works out. Well, let's go ahead and step inside. So, before anything, I automatically notice how quiet it is. We are kind of centralized right now doing this video around where there's a lot of uh, cars and people. And the cabin is extremely quiet, which is fantastic. Uh, first, what I want to go ahead and do is start the ignition. So to start the ignition, you're going to have to put your foot on the brake. There's a start, stop, ignition button right here. As soon as you click that, the car turns on. You will be prompt with your display right in the middle here, as well as your dash display. First, let's talk quickly about the door. Comes with beautiful wood trim. Nice patent leather here. Gorgeous brown themed leather here. You have your chrome accented door handle. Open and close for the uh, all the doors. You have your set memory for seat adjustment. Here you can um, you can adjust your mirrors right here. Open up your trunk right here. Lock the windows. Open the windows. On this small panel right here is your light functionality. So you have off, auto, uh, daytime running, and regular beams, and then high beam. Also, this little knob right here, it's basically for a cabin, the latency and the, the opacity in the cabin, basically how, the, how these screens light up at night. Let's talk about the steering wheel real quick. First of all, I've never saw a steering wheel like this before, the way that it actually pushes in instead of a lot of steering wheels kind of push all these compartments out. It's definitely a different feel and I'm a steering wheel guy. If the steering wheel isn't right, you're not going to have a good ride. With my hands on this, the beautiful stitching, the leather, just the overall kind of racy setup, little push out here, overall I have to give this steering wheel an A+. It's extremely comfortable. You have a lot of functionality also right on your steering wheel. Here, basically you can um, move the functionality right here on your LCD screen in front of you. These are the side to side buttons and we'll get to that in just a second. These are the different views. Watch as I press the different views. So you have your, you know, basic odometer readings. You have your, you know, I mean, uh, you have your RPMs, you have your miles per hour and so forth. If I click over, we're going to have, that's the radio display. If I click over one more time, you can connect your smartphone device to it and it will show some additional information there. And then with another shift over, you will see our navigation map. Okay, the current navigation map is here as well as here. But by pressing the view button right here, it gives you an entire screen display. I have to say, I've never seen this in a car, and it's completely stunning. It is truly incredible. I love, I'm very technical, I love technology, and when my entire front dash, as I'm driving, can turn digital, that's next level. Hopefully all the automakers are taking this turn and putting fully digital displays in their cars because it's entertaining, it's 
it's moving forward. It's changing the way that things have been. And I think it's, it's just beautiful. And also extremely functional for the fact that as you're driving looking forward, you don't have to kind of look at your phone if you're, you know, your navigation's on your phone. Of course, this comes as a premium, but it's, it's not really nice to have. So if you went ahead and click on view one more time, kind of turns like that, and then you can modify the, the middle part. And once you get to the car part, let me actually get a little closer there for you guys. You have, uh, you know, energy consumption, driving assistance, traffic signs, fuel consumption, date and time, and that's it. So all those things you get right in your front panel. From right here, you have navigation. And she'll actually, she starts, uh, the navigation starts talking to you regarding what your next move is and this navigation is actually completely controlled by this as you can see as I click as I click to the side as I click to the left and the right it will zoom in zoom out I have to say super friendly really high quality as in when you hear the click it moves I mean everything is really in tune with each other uh, of course, uh, this is voice control, phone, heated steering wheel, and right here is where you have your volume for probably either your phone volume as well as um, radio functionality. Let's go right here. This is actually a really interesting panel right here. So obviously it's the air conditioning panel. Uh, you have your dual controls for each side. And the venting actually goes from here, here, and you have a large vent going right across here as well as over there. Actually, this vent is not a, uh, an AC vent. Um, hazards. So, let's talk about this panel again. These buttons right here represent the type of air conditioning that's, that's coming out. Basically, if I want it to go higher, check this out. So, I just put my finger on it. It automatically lights up. Did you see? I didn't press down on anything. Here, we can go max or on or off. And here is the different type of, you know, um, the way that the AC will come out if it's coming out here or down below or from the from the front. But as you can see, let me just give you a quick. So I put my finger on it; it's touch sensitive, and then I push it upward, and um, it increases the speed of the air conditioning. Right down here is a small panel. Uh, you have your parking assist turning off or on. You have your, um, this is the auto ignition, on or off. So obviously if you're, you know, driving, uh, fuel consumption, fuel economy, it will shut off your engine when you're stopped for a, certain, a couple of seconds. And then as you start moving, it will turn back on again. The drive select, so I want to show you what the drive select is like. So I just click drive select and you could also get that functionality right from here. But the, there's an available button right here. So drive select is obviously the different levels of comfort. You have individual, dynamic, auto, or comfort. So it's, you know, if you want to go for a more relaxed drive or a more sporty drive, that's where you're going to find that, those options. And it, and it turns, in, in just a few seconds, it turns right back to your previous screen and that would be your navigation screen. Let's talk about this compartment right here. I'm really, I really like what they did here. I like the smaller shifter. I like the simplicity of everything, as well as the quality. So starting here, these are obviously radio channels, uh, memory. You can click here, you go to your favorite radio station. From right here, you have your navigation or map. So if you click it, it basically, you know, asks you where you want to go, home address, and so forth. Okay? You could also move this side to side, and I, I can't show you guys both views, but if I move it side to side, it provides different type of options. There's a menu button right here. If you click on the menu button, I'm going to show you guys. So I just clicked on the menu button, you get your car on the screen, and 
the, the the technology, the computer in this car is extremely responsive. Uh, there's, I've noticed zero lag, and uh, I notice lag immediately. If if on any type of technology, uh, we in 2016, our generation likes things quick and precise. So definitely, the technical aspects of this car are right on point. So from here, you have your vehicle. Let's click on that. So again, as I mentioned to you guys, those two buttons, you can get to them right from here. All you got to do is uh, click either back. Uh, if you go to sound, you could modify the different, you know, the bass, the treble, and so forth. There's actually, if you actually go to the side here, let me show you guys what that looks like. If I go to the side, it's basically a shortcut to a couple of things and additional options. If you go to radio, the car does have a Bang & Olufsen uh, sound system, so it's extremely loud and really nice. Actually, uh, right here, right on the side, everything is in tune to the driver. Also, you know, this is good for the passenger. You don't have to reach over here to do anything. You could primarily keep your eyes on the road, which is awesome. So from here, you could... Isn't that fantastic? The sound system is amazing. Um, going back to what we have on the screen here and the functionalities down below, you can click on media. Basically, media. Uh, there's no there's no media currently inserted, but it does have uh, DVD capabilities, and I believe that is located right in the dash, right in there. There's room for an SD1, a SIM, and an SD2, as well as your multimedia DVD player right in here. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the middle compartment here. So you have your telephone, obviously we don't have a telephone hooked up, so, but that's where you'll find all your telephone set up. You also have your maps, you have your Audi, Audi Connect, you have your navigation, you can just click on that. Let's say for example, let's, I want to go to the Sitco, we select, if we want to go to the Sitco gas station, we select that, it brings it up. I could zoom in, I could zoom out. As you can see there, it's perfectly done, really easy, and uh, it's at your fingertips. Let's talk a little bit more about the shifter. So the shifter is pretty unique. Uh, they actually put the park button right here. I do like that. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. So you put it in drive. You can go ahead and put it in drive just like that. There's also cameras all around this car. So for example, if I put it in reverse, okay? So here's the reverse camera. Let's just go ahead and move back just a little bit. And let's go ahead and move forward. So now the camera is actually on, but if you actually speed up, it will turn off. But regarding parking, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the car into park. So the camera stays on, and from right here, you could use this this little uh, navigator. See those little little pieces up at the top? So this is looking at the front of the car. Oh, that's the back of the car. So if I want an overall view, I select that, and it'll give me kind of like a 3D view all around the car. Let's actually go ahead and try to park with the 3D view. You see what it's doing? I mean, obviously I can't focus directly on the screen because I am holding a camera, but as you can see here, it's giving us that 3D view. Let's try another view. Okay, so this is the front view. So if I put it in drive, I have a front view. Or is that the back view? I'm not too sure. But, go to the side here, we have the side-to-side -side view. So, the car has a ton of different functionality, and I love it. I think they did a fantastic job. Let me just, let me tell you about these uh, bucket seats right here. Beautiful, beautifully done leather bucket seats. I have to say, extremely comfortable. If I had the opportunity to buy this car, I would, because uh, I really think it's well worth 
every single penny. I've been testing, I've been dri uh, test driving a lot of cars recently, and overall for this type of uh, this car in its class, I think this is an incredible car. It really is. I think it has everything to offer for the regular day driver. It also has a sunroof. You just kind of push that back. Fairly large sunroof also. I think this car is really well built. I think it's got all of the current updated functionalities that anybody would want. I, I, I rate this car an A++. A++. Honestly, I'm speechless in the sense of how this came out. I was not expecting this when I first got into the car. I thought it was going to be another A4. Um, but I was totally wrong. I think this car is worth every single dollar. All right, well, let's actually go for a test drive in, in the streets, and we're going to see how it handles throughout the actual streets. like this car. The handling, the comfort, the interior detail, everything is so nice. We're just going to go ahead and go for a few minute test drive. It sounds like a, um, you know, a small sporty car. It definitely has that sound to it. But as of right now, I I like how it feels. I like what I hear. The, sus the suspension is pretty nice. I mean, uh, we're not really hitting top speeds, but what I am feeling right now, this could be my daily car. Let's go ahead and turn around. It's got it's got, it's got speed. It's got speed. And um I'm not even in the fastest mode yet. I'm not running the Tiptronic. Also, I didn't mention to you guys, it does have paddle shifters. It's got Tiptronic right on, it's actually got sports mode Tiptronic right here. And you have your Tiptronic paddles right on the steering wheel. Something about seeing that map right in the front. It's so cool. If you guys are in the market for an A4, this is brought to you guys by Cherry Hill Audi. I want to thank them for the opportunity of getting to review one of their cars. Great people at Cherry Hill Audi. Make sure you go ahead and see them on Route 70, Cherry Hill Audi. Also, a link to their live inventory will be down below. love the steering wheel. I love how it feels.
car is pretty costly. The car is pretty costly in the $50,000 range. But again, when you're looking at Audis, when you're looking at its competitors, BMW, th those are the price ranges of those cars. I mean, uh, a BMW is actually going to be a little more expensive um, for, for what you're going to get in this car. This has everything that you'll ever need. Also, if you guys aren't familiar with the Quattro, it means all-wheel drive. So instead of going way further, I'm actually going to pull over right here and then turn around. I'm certain we can handle this little bit of a turn.